I know that you go about what you do uh, with with sensitivity and with respect, but what do you say to those who do similar things to you, but, but do it badly, do it aggressively, do intimidate? Well, what I say is that I'm not aware of that happening. I'm very much in touch with individuals up and down the country. I see a lot of accusations, usually from anonymous sources, but very little evidence. I mean, it's fair enough to say that women are going to be slow to come forward to complain. But what about clinic staff? They're now getting them to make statements after an 18-month campaign to, to bring these things to the fore. And some of the statements being made are ludicrous and easily disprovable. I don't see any evidence of harassment. What I see is that they ideologically are opposed to a standing there. The Manifesto Club and Liberty have both opposed this PSPO and they're both pro-choice organisations who have no time for our vigil. But if, a, no harassment happens there. but if a woman is going, uh, I understand what you're saying about being a kind of last line of defence in a sense to say, look, there is an alternative. Uh, if you wish to listen to what that alternative is, that's what I'm here for. Here's a leaflet. I, I get that. Uh, but but do you understand that even even that uh, could be for a woman who's wrestling with with a pregnancy that that even that is an is an interference too far? I don't see it as an interference, but I do recognise that a woman who's going for an abortion who is going to lose her child in that way, even if she's the best choice for her, may be distressed by seeing a baby in a pushchair on the bus and equally by a woman standing at a clinic gate with a leaflet. That's why we try and keep our approach to a minimum. But I can't walk away from hundreds of women who feel they have no alternative. When in fact they do, would be your argument. They do, and we want to be there. We want to put our hands in our own pockets and, you know, open up the spare beds in the living room. That's what we do. And we want to be there for those women. And to those who say you're just religious, religiously motivated protesters. Well, that, I, I know that's not how you would describe yourself, but... You know, if I wasn't religious, if I lost my faith tomorrow, I can still see that abortion is a traumatising decision that no one should be forced to. But may I say, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a religious... No, there isn't, there isn't. And many of the women who turn around, what's the most common reason they give us for turning around? It's not even money or housing, even though they may need to avail of those things. It's, I prayed about my decision and I asked for a sign. This is hundreds of women. So, you know, there are religious women going into these clinics as well. Why can't they meet religious people outside? Mm. We're not forcing our religion down anyone's throat. It wouldn't happen with any other medical procedure, would it, that somebody is lobbied? Well, you know, I don't know any other medical procedure that involves ending the life of another person. I mean, obviously there's people who dispute that, but that's what we recognise as happening, and that's what many of the women who choose to accept our help recognise as happening. Claire, I'm going to thank you very much for joining us. I'm going to leave it there because your line is, is a bit difficult to hear. But thank you, Claire McCulloch, uh, Director for the Good Council Network. We um, invited onto the programme uh, the groups, some members of the group who have successfully uh, lobbied Ealing Council for the change that's been brought in, um, but they weren't available to speak to us. Uh, Ed in White City is available to speak to us. Hello, Ed. Thanks for calling. Um, good morning, uh, or good afternoon, I should say, um, uh, Sheila. Uh, yeah, my, my line probably won't be that much better. Um, I'm normally calling you from Helmslow, but um, today I'm coming all the way from White City because I'm in the Thomasville Hospital. I've had a heart attack. Oh dear. So, Go well. Uh, yeah. So I'm a person who is usually on a, at uh, Ujul in um, Ely, um, and as soon as I get out of here, I shall be back there. Um, nothing will stop me, and nothing that um, Ealing Council has brought in or may yet bring in further will stop me. Um, so that's it. The fight goes on as far as I'm concerned. A fight? What are you fighting for? The fight. The fight goes on as far as I'm concerned. And, and, what, and what is... Tell me what the fight is. Well, the fight against abortion, the fight against um, uh, unborn children being put to death at uh, Matter Glain, uh, the fight against Ealing Council, um, which is, you know, satanically governed. All of those things are, are, are a big fight. Against satanically the, governed? Absolutely, yes. yes. Just because they disagree with you, Ed, you, you think they're satanic? Pardon? Because they disagree with you, you think they're satanic? No, not because they disagree with me, but because they're evenly motivated. If you look into all that's gone on, I mean, I've spoken to some of those councillors 
to me that, oh, they wouldn't be voting in favour of this and that. But when it comes to it, they all vote in unison. In, you know, and uh, believe you me, they're under a directive. Ed, thank you for your call. Get well uh, in hospital there in White City. Sarah in Ealing, hello. Hello. I was just going to put the, uh, about your last caller. Yes. From that rather awful right wing group. Do you mean Ed or do you mean Claire McCulloch? No, I mean Claire. Go on. Um, can we keep it respectful? We've already yes. had satanic, so can we keep it respectful? She says they are not causing harassment. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen the photos, I've walked past there. They hand out teddy bears to 15-year-old girls. They call them mum on the worst time of their life. You have to push past them to get in the door. So, really, I think they should stay away. If they want to provide support, they can provide support from the other side of the road without blocking the gate. And when you say pictures, what do you mean by pictures? Do you mean pictures um, of abortion? They hand, they hand out pictures of what they say is a fetus. It's not. They hand out teddy bears to young girls going through a terrible time. They call them mum on the way in and they make them feel like crap. We'll just it's be just careful with your language, Sarah. The mosque, of course. Uh, Right, and it never came. And then we learned from my daughter that a number of kids were handpicked from the year and taken mm -hmm. to the mosque. And those ten, there were around ten kids, and the ten kids all happened to be Muslim. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Stupid. Yeah, it is. It is. I did you talk to the school, Abdi? Did you talk to the school? Yes, we tried. When we spoke to the teacher, she sent us to the office. When we went to the office. She told us, they told us that we need to speak to the head teacher, and then Easter came, and we didn't have a chance. Okay, well, if you do, and I do think it's still a very live issue, because I'll probably do the same thing next year, do let me know what the reaction is, Abdi. That's absolutely, well, that's ridiculous. You take the Jewish children to a mosque, you take the Muslim children to a synagogue, and you can do the equations that I'm getting at. Thank you, Abdi. Nicole in Tring, you're on the radio. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you a first time caller today? Yes, I am. How long, now, how long have you been listening, Nicole? Um, I've been listening since I was um, listening when my mum was driving the car, so years and years now. It's taken that long for you to remember. Well, thank you very yeah. much. What are you going to tell me after all these years, Nicole? Okay, so I kind of came in halfway through the conversation, mm. um, but I just wanted to kind of correct something that a previous caller said. Go ahead. So um, I went to a faith school for my high school. Oh, so yes. From year 7 to year 11. And um, a Christian